After all that we've been through, I still want to spend my life with you. Yes, I do. I am proud to announce that I have officially passed the bar exam and truly it was not easy <laughs> like I almost gave up I almost said no not taking again because I did fail it in July 2018 and the experience I felt during that fail was an experience I never thought I would ever go through or ever feel like I really went through a mourning process of going through shock, going through denial, going through disappointment. And ultimately, the, next day, the last stage is acceptance. And when I reach that stage, I'm like, no, I gotta pick myself back up and take it again. And I came through um, this experience with, um, with my family and my friends because they are the ones who pushed me and said, V, no, you gotta take it again. Like, you're not gonna let this take you down. You can't just give up right here. One more time, you got this. And it was through their encouragement, their push, their tough love, that I found strength in God to pick myself back up and do it again. Hold on. Yeah, so I took it again in February 2019. And the study process that I went through the second time around was absolutely different. I went through, um, I went in studying more strategically, had to strengthen my weaknesses and even strengthen my strengths so that when I go back in there in February, there is no way that they will find fit to fail me. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm outside waiting for Dante to pick me up um, for church. So I'm just walking around my apartment complex. But honestly, like, yeah, I can say it was my strategy. Yeah, I can say it was my study methods this time. But honestly, the number one thing was God's strength because I had to get up every day and study. I had to push myself to sit down and study. And I couldn't have done that without God's strength. Like he gave me that discipline. He gave me that stamina to keep going. And I just thank him for that because I am officially a barred attorney and it's surreal. Like, I, I can't believe I'm even saying that because after that fail, I never thought that this day would come. I'm just like, hey, maybe it's not for me. Maybe this is not my divine purpose. Maybe God does not want me to become an attorney. And if you saw my last video, I wrote, well, I spoke about the reasons why I'm blessed and thankful that I didn't pass the bar exam. And now I'm here telling you guys that I did pass the bar exam. By the same time, if you watch that video, one of the reasons why I was thankful was because I now have this creative surge that has taken over me. And though I passed the bar exam, though I will be a board attorney, I will not let my creative energy get dim. Like I will continue to put out content um, that I love putting out. I will continue to expand my creativities in other areas in life and just be more than just a bar attorney because I know God has a bigger purpose for me on earth than just becoming a bar attorney. So let me stop rambling. Um, yes, so I had to share with you guys this experience, this blessing, and I'm all ready to church to praise. Thank God for it all. But I will be vlogging with Dante this whole weekend because it is my last weekend in DC. I'm moving out to be back home in New York to do final planning for the wedding. So tune in. Okay, show them what you're wearing. Yeah, I look Ooh, like Faith. You do. <laughs> Let me see the show with you in. Yeah, we're well, late I'm, to church. But look we're at a little late. Wow, look at her. Fashionably late. Barred attorney. <laughs> barred. She's a barred attorney. Look at her hair on sleek, everything. Look at
Okay, so V just had her last service at, at Metropolitan, Metropolitan STA, STA Church. Okay. And the sermon was around creating me a clean heart. Yes, create a clean heart. And what heart. better way to end my last service there? Right. Where, yes, yeah, like, where we go next, our next chapter in life, we want to continue to clean our hearts so we can be better people. Absolutely, right, absolutely. And it's all about self-awareness. So mm -hmm. if you're going to be critical of other people, you must first be critical of uh, yourself, all right? And That's so right. you got to not only apply the, the test of scrutiny against others, but also you have to place yourself under a microscope and see where areas in life that you need improvement, okay? <laughs> Amen. You know? So we always talk about <laughs> making sure that we got to clean up communities and clean up others, but we got to make sure we talk about cleaning up ourselves because we are also Ooh. nasty and dirty. Ooh. And we also need to take a sponge and wipe it against Ooh. not only our bodies, but also our minds and our nastiness and the way we talk about others and the way we live our lives, not only on a daily basis, Basis, but how we live our lives in the context of with other people. Okay, so amen, Pastor. Pastor <laughs> Navella Smith, man, yes. who really gave us a word today. Truly, but now we're going to go feed ourselves physically with brunch from Bus Boys and Poets. And last thing I want to And say. if you saw our last video, we missed Bus Boys and Poets brunch. Um, and we were sad about that. So now we're about to get some Bus Boys and Poets brunch. And enjoy the rest of the day. Stay tuned. All right, last thing I want to say. All right, bye. <laughs> and we're back. And we're hey, stuck. Hey, hey, I am F-U-L-L, -L, all right? <laughs> so, yeah, we'll um, let you know what, what we do next. And you will see. Because we don't know yet. But when we do know, you'll see. Because then, by then, we know. Okay, bye. So our next stop Yo, our is next Zales. Stop, this is how you doing. Your woman is talking, you talk over her. <laughs> Just kidding. So our, so next, our stop next stop is, is Zales. Zales. So what are we doing? To do? What are we going we to do? We are trying to beat the rain. Look at the if rain. If you can see the clouds. The Cumbio Olympus. We see that rain is going to fall upon us. So we got to beat come the here rain. It rains. Every yeah. time we come here, it rains. And then my hair's gonna poop up. And we don't want that to happen because we're trying to go out tonight, have fun tonight. And Probably I do not, not want to do my hair tonight. again. We can make no reservations. So, yeah. So let's go to Zales, get the ring, come out, and see what else we can do for the rest of the day. A man does when you tell him to fix your hair. Gosh, I fix this. <laughs> he just drags his fingers through the hair. And that's what he does. We're about to get the wedding band. We are. For me. <laughs> Special order. Hiding, I can see. Oh, I know, right? I was like, my God, where is it? It's around here somewhere. Oh my God! <laughs> right? Oh, wow. oh my God! It's like special oh, task force. We'll have to hit open this. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! There you go. Thank you Finally. so much. Finally. So as you know, we're here at Zell's picking up the ring. And just let you guys know, we had to get a special order because Dante has teeny tiny fingers. <laughs> teeny tiny. Got it. What song was that? Thank you. One more chance. You should be giving me your heart too, yeah. Did y'all get that? <laughs> <laughs>